pretty early age, you wanted to play at the highest level. Um, part of that, by the sounds, is because you had talent and you were good at it, so you wanted to to test yourself. But um, like, if we dive a little bit deeper, was it um, family that also? Yeah. Was it? Was it um, being in Melbourne, like obviously it's it's everything in Melbourne. Like, it, yeah, it is. It is. It's uh, it's well, that's. I said my my dad was um, he, he was pretty good at footy. He played for Mini Valley in the EDFL yep. league. Yep. Um, whether I got a little bit of his skill and uh, his drive, I don't know. But um, it was something that I just fell in love with, and um, it made me happy. Um, there was no other sport really that I liked um, that I really enjoyed besides footy, really. Um, yeah, for sure. And a mixture of being natural, a mixture of being happy with it. Um, it was fun. It was competitive. Um, you know, watching the footy on the weekends. Um, I don't know. It was just and all that. You, I wanted to be a part of that. You see these guys play footy. How would you absorb the information with, when you have a session with Simone and you, and you're watching things? Is it just imagine that you'd visualize <laughs> actioning it, or you've got a journal, or you're talking to your dad about? Yeah, way of, like, I d- Dad would be in the meetings. So he'd be in the meetings with me, um, yeah. or sessions. Um, but yeah, Mr. Simone would just print out and even write like just real basic stuff on a sheet of paper, just with some additives of you know meals with photos and um, let's go through you know day to day what you eat. Okay, well probably don't have these you know for breakfast just toast on a training day. Maybe have toast with eggs or have mm-hmm. some uh, vitamins. Um, it's going to give you a little bit of extra um, carbs. So yep. um, just little finer details like that. It wasn't you know it wasn't a, a, a huge change, but it was more just about implementing the the right meals on the days that you need to train. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it was not like now where it's train they train in the mornings. Um, you know, obviously when you're younger you train in the afternoons because you're going to school. What would be a typical week for you? Like, what would your what would your focus be earlier in the week? And I know it would be recovery, but what was yeah. your fa- favorite form of recovery, mental and physical? And then how with your main session of the week? How would you go about that, and then um, you know, lead into like the day before a game as well? So like, sort of like you, a brief synopsis on your weekly preparation for a game. Yeah, so if, let's say you play Saturday. Yeah, as you mentioned, the recovery is huge. Everyone talks about it. Um, it's just getting more and more and more. So I love doing an ice bath just to try and get that extra advantage. Um, you know, as sore as you were and as cold as it is, and and if you played really poor, and if your team lost, it's, it's no easy, but um, I felt like that was a really good starting point to go, okay, get this, just get it done because you know you need to get it done. And that would be a clear mindset, okay, okay, the game's done, you know, tomorrow's Sunday, have your rest day, do your recovery. And then Monday, ooh, Monday at the time would have been just a quick little flush, some massage. And then from now, when I, probably now is the time where, you know, the, the, the review meetings get done. So you call it Monday, get a review meeting. A um, lot of nervous energy, depending on how you went and how the <laughs> team went. Um, anxiety would start to creep in, but um, try and just take it, take it for what it is, and you know, try and learn it and get the best out of um, the situation. So, always going with a positive mind, saying, "What can I do better? How can yep. I get better? Um, what do I need to work on?" Yeah. Just firstly, I find it so awesome at a young age that Dad got you involved with strength coaches, dietitians, and people like that can really help. Um, especially younger people aspiring yeah. to um, you know, play professionally, whether it's AFL or other sports. Um, how beneficial do you think that was for you essentially starting your career and you know, that next step towards getting drafted? And is it something you'd recommend for a lot of sort of younger athletes? I feel like it's, it definitely helped me. Um, I, I wasn't, um, it, and I suppose the big message would be that it wasn't um, you know, forced. That's probably the big message here that it wasn't forced. Like it was, it was mentioned. Would you like, you know, to maybe see a dietitian or um, that can maybe help? I was absolutely, yep. Um, I, I feel like it can get a little bit carried away when um, you know parents are doing all this, you know, extra coaching and extra, you know, strength stuff and extra this and that for their kids. When um, you have to remember that is it are the kids enjoying it? There's no point, you know, having all these gizmos and gadgets and um, having the best teachers in sport of coaching and that if they're not enjoying it, then it becomes a waste of time. But um, 
for me personally, I thought it was great um, just to, because I it's in an untouched, um, it was unfamiliar territory as far as, well, what does this mean? Did you notice any really big differences between the Suns and Lions? Like, did they have more of a focus on strength and conditioning or one had more of a focus on skills? Did they do recovery stuff quite similar or were they, yeah, pretty different? Yeah. There was a little bit. Obviously, we, uh, when I got to the Lions at the time, you have to remember that these guys were they're not like the uh, athletes they are today. So if you wind a clock, you know, 17, 18 years ago, um, 20 years ago, that they were a bit more, um, they're a bit more bigger, um, but they weren't as athletic as they were today. So the focus, especially in the gym, would be, you know, a lot more bench and a lot more... Um, uh, you know, chin ups and upper body stuff. Um, there was a lot of legs as well um, in the gym, and recovery wise, very similar. Um, and the, the training, the training loads were different as far as um, they were more, you know, grinding. So they were long um, and just long, pretty much. So, you, so for example, like I remember we, at the lines, it used to be go for like whether you were a ruckman or whether you were forward pocket you'd all go for a 50-minute run. Which movie or TV series has impacted you the most and why? Do you know what, you know what I love? And I, yeah. my, my wife hates this, but I love old school, like, 80s movies. So, like, Blood Sport, yeah. to me, was, like, the ultimate. Blood Van, Sport. Bit of Van, Van Damme, put that in. That's one of the absolute classics. Or um, even, even um, Kickboxer. Yeah, I used to think that they were like all those old action movies. They were great time to be a great time to be alive. Um, yeah. and I can just remember watching them on VCR back in the day, like <laughs> constantly without you know without even taking a day off really, especially on the school holidays. Would just be watching them. 